Are you left-handed and struggling with suturing? You are not alone and I've got you covered. In this video, we'll walk through how to suture left-handed step-by-step with tips and tricks just for you. Let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm Dr. G, and although I am a right-handed PA, I'm a big believer in the value of ambidexterity in medicine. And over the years, I've seen so many left-handed students struggle to find instructional content that speaks directly to them, especially when it comes to suturing. And that's why I created this video, a lefty-focused walkthrough of essential suturing techniques. And we'll go over how to hold and manipulate the tools and instruments with your left hand, how to lock and unlock that needle driver, and how to perform the key sutures you'll be expected to know. Simple interrupted, vertical mattress, horizontal mattress, and continuous. This video is all about making sure that the left-handed students have the same clarity, confidence, and technique that everyone deserves. Let's get started. Okay, so let's start with our needle holder, our needle driver. So traditionally with the right hand, we would put our thumb in here and we would have our fourth finger in here and as you can see when the locking me mechanism engages we would push forward with our thumb and pull with our fourth finger to disengage the locking mechanism that's with the right hand now with the left hand it's going to be opposite because the locking mechanism is a little different so essentially you'll pull with your thumb and you'll push with your fourth finger to disengage to, to unlock it my recommendation for this is practice. So while you're studying, get a pair of needle drivers and just practice opening and shutting, opening and shutting, okay? You don't wanna stick your fingers in way too far um, and you wanna kinda of keep the first finger on top just like you would with the right hand. So that's how you unlock and unlock. So that's the first trick to, to understanding how to do suturing with your left hand. Second is you're gonna be using your right hand to hold your uh, forceps. Okay, so you want to kind of hold them on top of the hand, not underneath the hand like a messy eater. You want to hold it up here on top and you want to use your thumb and your index and middle finger to kind of hold these. Okay, um, remove the scissors out of the way to the side here. All right, now we're going to show you how to hold your needle because it's different for right-handed and left-handed. Let me start with right-handed. So when we load our needle with our right hand, we're going to face the needle towards the left side, and we're gonna grip it on this side facing left. Okay, you can see, and it's up. You can see that it's right there, okay? So that's if I'm doing it right-handed. If I'm doing it left-handed, it's going to be the opposite. So I'm going to, let me drop this, place this in my left hand. Now, I am not left-handed, okay? Uh, but I'm trying my best to show you because I think it's important. There's a lot of lefties out there that get forgotten about left behind, okay? so. You'll wanna still hold it up like this. I don't know if you can see that up, uh, but my needle is now facing the right side, okay? So my needle's facing the right because I'm going to be going from left to right like this when I do my motions, okay? So that being said, I have my needle loaded. Let me disengage, okay? I'm gonna let it go and let's do it again. So I'm gonna grab my needle with my right hand And I'm gonna find the, the last little third of the needle here with my left. I'm gonna grab it with just the tip of my needle driver and I'm gonna lock it. I usually lock it twice. So there we go. It's always load your needle perfect. If your needle's not loaded perfect, it's gonna be hard to do the stitch. All right, now we're loaded up. I'm gonna grab my forceps with my right hand and I'm gonna work down here on this one. So let me move my suture pad up a little so you can see it a little bit better. Okay. From when I'm doing right-handed stitches, I usually start from left to right since I'm going to come kind of down and towards myself. But since I'm left-handed right now, I'm going to probably start closer to this side and work my way this way. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grip the skin with my right hand. Okay, I'm going to grab my needle, my needle driver. I'm going to find this. I'm going to insert it and I'm going to do a roll of the wrist okay, towards me. Now, it's probably good practice as you're learning how to do stitches to disengage in between the wound. So then I'm gonna grab here and I'm gonna roll the wrist again to pull it through the first side of the wound, okay? 
Now I'm going to reload my needle. Again, I'm gonna reload it as, as well as I can right here. Okay, I'm gonna get this. Remember, I'm not left-handed, so I'm trying my best. Gonna load it up again, gonna grab my skin, and I'm gonna come back through this side of the wound. Okay, disengage my needle driver and pull through. Okay, and I'm gonna get my end right here. I'm gonna lay my needle down and I'm gonna lay my forceps down and now I'm gonna do my knot tying. So on the left hand, my right hand is going to be wrapping and my around my left hand. So I'm gonna go forward twice. I'm gonna grab the tip and I'm gonna switch my hands, laying it nice and flat across there. Okay, that's the first one. Now I wrap forward that time. So now I'm gonna wrap backwards once, grab my tip, and now my hands switch again. My left hand goes up, my right hand goes down. Okay, I'm gonna wrap backwards. I'm sorry, forwards. <laughs> Grab this, hand switch, lay it down. I'm gonna wrap backwards once, hand switch, and it goes up. Okay, one more time, forward, hand switch, lay that down, and then I'm gonna move it to the side. And there you go. I can drop this, grab my scissors with my left hand, and then I'm going to want to pull this up. Remember, just very little cut. Okay, and I am not left handed, so my scissors is probably worse than my other technique, but, and there you go. So that's one stitch. That's a simple interrupted stitch. Okay, now let's do a mattress stitch. Let's do a, a mattress stitch. So let's put this in. Uh, let's go ahead and reload our needle. All right, we're always going to use our forceps. Let's do this one over here. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to go in. And for the sake of speeding up this video, well, I have a little bit of... Here. I'm just going to go through both sides. And we're going to do a horizontal mattress. So I'm going to come through both sides, release my grip, grip it, grab it, and pull through. Now, when I reverse load my needle, essentially what I'd do is I would load it normally, right? I would load my needle just like this, but when I flip, when I reverse my needle, I just basically flip it down like this, okay? So now I'm ready, I'm back loaded and ready to go with my left hand. So I'm gonna come through this side and then come through here. Remember, this is a horizontal mattress. I'm gonna unload, pull through, Okay, and you'll see there I'm forming that little box. Okay, now I'm going to wrap again. So I'm gonna take my right hand. I'm gonna wrap it twice around the top. I'm gonna to grip my skin and then I'm gonna pull across. Okay, now I wrapped forward that time. So I'm gonna wrap backwards once. I'm gonna grab my tip and I'm gonna pull across because I need to switch my hands right there. I'm gonna wrap once, grab my tip, pull back this way. My hands are kind of switching from right to left now. Um, so I'm gonna wrap backwards, grab my tip, my hands switch this way. And there you go, there's a horizontal mattress stitch. Okay, so I'm gonna, oh, I'm right, I'm doing it right-handed. Yeah, let me switch it over. So there we go, a little cut there. My scissor is worse than my suturing. All right, now let's see, do I have enough string? I think I have enough string to do a vertical mattress. So let's try to do that. I'm gonna get my needle drivers. I'm going to grab my needle and I'm going to load it up. Okay, I'm gonna grab my forceps. I'm gonna go far, far near, near. Okay, so I'm gonna start a little bit outside of my dot. I'm gonna go far. And I think I have enough needle to do my far on this side. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna unload it. I'm gonna push it through a little more so I have some more give. And I'm gonna grab it there. Okay. So again, we need to back load the needle. Remember how we back load it is we, we load it up like we were going to load it regularly, and then we just flip it upside down. Okay, so that's how to back load this needle. I'm gonna load it up, grab my skin. Now I'm gonna do my near near. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna come here, and then 
and release. Might have to push it through a little more. There we go. I'm going to pull that through. And I'm going to leave myself a little tail there to wrap. I'm going to grab my right hand, wrap it twice. Lay it down. Okay, try not to pull too, too hard. Wrap it once back this way. Okay, switch my hands. Okay, wrap it this way once. Okay, back backwards. There you go, that's a vertical mattress. Nice inverted edges. Um, and then, of course, I'm trying to cut left-handed. I would cut here. There you go. So those are those three. Uh, let me get some new suture and I will do a continuous one with my left hand. All right, so as promised, I am now going to attempt keyword attempt to do this continuous suture with my left hand. I've never done it before. Um, I'm assuming it's the same thing as the right hand, just backwards. So let's go ahead and give it a try. We're going to load up our suture. I'm going to hold it in our right hand. And I'm going to load it up with my left. Okay. Going to get it locked and loaded. I'm going to grab my grips. Now, usually when I do a continuous suture with my right hand, I start at the left and work my way towards me. Um, since I'm doing it with my left hand, I'm going to start on this side and work my way this way. So I'm not going to go all the way on the end. I'm going to kind of start here towards the middle and we'll see how we do. Okay. So I'm going to grab the skin. I'm going to go through. Remember the first part of a continuous suture is essentially a simple interrupted without cutting it. So I'm going to push that through a little bit, grab it, pull it through. I don't want to pull it all the way through. Uh, then I'm going to uh, wrap it twice, do my surgeon's knot. Grab my tip, switch my hands. Okay. Now I'm going to wrap once towards me. Grab the tip, switch my hands. I'm going to pull too tight here. Okay. Now I'm going to wrap towards me, away from me. Grab it. All right, now we got our knot there. Uh, remember on this one, we can clean this up here, but we don't wanna cut, I don't wanna cut the running end yet because we need it. Now I like to bury my knot. Uh, I like to make it look clean on the outside, curved on the inside. So I'm gonna show you how I would bury that here with my left. So I'm gonna grab this up here towards the top and remember I'm going to kind of go in right next to where my other knot is okay now my goal is to do my diagonals under the skin so I'm going to do my diagonal under the skin and I'm actually going to come out right there okay so I'm going to grab that make sure I don't get caught underneath myself as you can see that that side of the knot kind of buries there okay so that's perfect um, we're going to load up again Remember, we want to load it perfectly every single time if we can. Load it up perfectly. Get that done. All right. Now we're going to start from here, and we're going to go diagonally across underneath the skin. So we're going to come out right there. And we want to grab it from under here. We don't want to lock our knot. So I'm going to grab it there. As you can see, that first one that we laid down here is perfect straight across. So if I didn't have these dots, I could kind of measure out where I would go and then go. So I'm going to load up again. I'm going to grab my skin. I'm going to go through. And remember, I'm doing my diagonals under the skin, so I'm going to come out right here. Okay, I'm going to grab this, pull it through. And again, I've laid down a nice... Uh, a nice square suture there. So I'm going to grab this again. I'm going to reload it. I'm going to try to do one more. Okay. So I'm going to get this going. I'm going to come out here. Okay. I'm going to unlock it. I'm going to grab it from underneath. Pull it through. Okay. 
And this is going to be my last one, so I'm going to end, end it a little closer to the other one. Remember, when I come out this time, I'm going to come out closer so that it looks more aesthetically pleasing. So I'm going to go in again. Okay, and I'm going to come out, but I'm going to come out closer to my to my stitch that I just threw because I'm going to tie those two ends together. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to come out right there. And I'm going to leave myself a little tail end because that's how I'm going to tie these two together. So I'm going to leave that there. Now it's the same as when I was tying the first time, but I'm going to wrap twice around here. I'm going to grab this tip and I'm going to switch my hands right there. Okay. Then I'm going to wrap backwards once. I'm going to grab this tip again and then switch my hands there. That locks my knot. Make sure not to do it too, too tight. Okay. Um, I'm going to wrap it forward once. I'm going to grab this and tie it. And then backwards once. Grab this and tie it. So not the best. I'll be the first to admit it, I could, could be better. This is my first time ever doing it with my left hand. So I'm going to give myself some grace here. Um, once we're done, we can cut our, our tips off. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to lift up a little bit if I can grab it. I'm so awkward. And I'm going to cut my tails. So I have one tail here, two tails there. And there we go. That is our continuous suture left-handed. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you feel more confident in your suturing technique with your left hand, or that it at least gave you a new perspective on teaching and learning ambidexterity in medicine. If you found it helpful, don't forget to give a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more clinical tips and hands-on demos just like this. And if there's a specific skill or technique that you'd like to see in a future video, especially one that's lefty focus, drop it in the comments below. I'm always looking for ways to support your journey in medicine. Keep working hard, keep practicing and keep growing, and I'll see you in the next one.